We need to read these bodies as quick as we can. No, wait. Aren't we forgetting something? Our uncles. No, you stump. We can't eat these bodies. We just had a big lunch. Ah, he's right. We get fat. You know, we could always bury them in the forest of bones. Okay, I'm gonna start driving now. It's all the same to you, I'm gonna take my glasses off because I find I drive much better without them. You know you, you can't stop driving. I'm car racy, but cars, I'm driving. You're an expert. You're a great driver, Harvey. I can't wait to, to get on the road, really. Ready to go, racing to go. You are to driving what Uncle Stephen is to the minute rice industry and Coco. Edging to go. Hurry up then. Let's go. We need to put as much distance between us and those bodies as we can. We could go to the airport, which is in air, a small Scottish town with picturesque beaches and a cinema. Yes, I like it. We should catch a flick at the cinema. I still haven't seen Dodgeball yet. Harvey, you stump. Dodgeball came out three years ago. Yes, and I've heard great things. Well, we're by the sea. We might as well pick up the money. That's where I stashed it. Is it worth it? I mean... It's only 240 pounds, and for all we know, the piece is already on our tail. Yeah, and these tickets are selling like hotcakes. I want to go front row in this flag, baby. VIP. It's a wee bit more than 240 pounds. Okay, well, how much is it? Um, I th it's a million pounds. What? Michael, you said you'd tell us when we'd raised 240 pounds so we could throw this damn party. I, I did, I told you. I didn't hear anything. Did, did you, Arthur? No. Well, I told the wisdom tree and he said he'd tell you guys, but clearly there's been a breakdown in communication somewhere. Michael. What the fuck is the wisdom tree? Michael, that is just a tree. Ah, oh, leave him alone. He's trying his best. Come on. It's not trying. It's a tree. Okay, 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 you two, break it up. We'll never know if it is just a tree or if it does have some real sacred wisdom. Either way, this is a good thing. We have a million pounds and all we need to do is go into the sea and get it. One million. That's quite a party. We could, we could rent out a real community centre with a real DJ. We could have a buffet and get really good party bags. Think bigger, boys. With a million, we could host this thing in Norway. To be honest, guys, I'd quite like the money to spend on a private detective to help find my missing dad. He's been missing for years and no one knows where he's gone missing to. Uh, okay. Yeah, last time anyone saw me was on fire and next thing we knew he disappeared. All that was left was ash and no one knew where he went to. Sounds like he's dead, Michael. Nah, he's still out there. All he left was part of his skull. You know, he's probably out there wandering around looking for it, and I'd quite like to meet him and give him back his bit of skull. Well, how much is a private detective? Uh, a million pounds. Pfft. Well, if we're going to be selfish about it, then I want to spend the million on my passion project. And what's that? You know what that is? I want to make a live-action remake of Over the Hedge. And I'm not talking live-action like how Disney do it. I'm meaning real animals. I mean, do you guys have... Any idea how much it costs to teach an entire cast of animals how to speak English? One million pounds. Well, there's this watch which I want to buy and it's 2.5 million. And this million would really set me on the way to achieving that goal. And, and that's way better than any party that we could throw. Or your dead dad. Look. Let's just compromise and share the money on a party like we agreed in the first place, okay? Michael reluctantly agrees. Fine. <sighs> okay. 
we're almost there. Richard! I didn't want to talk to you, Michael. Richard! Richard. R Richard? Oh, wow. Maybe we shouldn't fight. Now nah, let's fight. What's become of us boys? From the start, we've just been four boys with the dream boys. We've lost our focus. And our marbles. And our focus. We need to team together. Maybe we can't all buy our dreams, but we can compromise and get something we all want with that sweet, delicious, succulent million pounds. Well said. And besides, we seem to be four evenly matched combatants. I suggest you put the money towards throwing a big party in honor of Richard and the spirits of all the dead employees in Hitman. And anything left over, we should put towards protecting the environment. I mean, Harvey, did you know that the planet is dying and scientists estimate that we only have approximately 23 years to change our ways before irreversible damage is done? And say by 2019, that'll only be 11 years. I did know that, Arthur. And Michael, did you know that approximately 413 million tons of ice melts each year? I mean, if all that ice melts, what are we going to have left to suck on? To your right, I heard that results in a 3.2 millimeter rise in ocean levels each year. Water already accounts for 71% of the Earth's surface. Those selfish fish don't deserve any more. Cow farts actually account for approximately 15% of greenhouse gas emissions. That's more than all the transport combined. Very well said. That's why I'm not putting up with any more bloody cows or any more bloody cars. Sure, we came here by car, but we carpooled. And to make up for the emissions, we ran over three cows. Spirits, did you know that organizations like Greenpeace aim to stop global warming, protect forests, and save oceans? Aside from visiting all these organizations online, there's all sorts of great films out there that you can watch to help inform you. Cowspiracy, An Inconvenient Truth, that one that Leonardo DiCaprio made, all available at Love Film. And now this, The Last Days of Richard. Astute viewers of which may have noticed some subtle yet genius hints towards global warming throughout. And if you didn't, that'll be just another reason to rewatch this brilliant series once again, from start to finish. Show your mum, show your dad, introduce them to all the wonderful moments. So guys, remember to like, share and subscribe. If this video hits 25 likes, we'll be giving away a CD player and five of Arthur's favorite CDs. That's right, we need to get this seen by as many people as possible. This needs to make it to the White House, the Washington, the President and Donald Trump. Otherwise the results can and will be catastrophic. 
If this continues, there won't be a world left for me to grow up in. Wait, hey, slow time! <laughs> Imogen, hot or cold? Take your pick. Oh, I've already had three balls. Richard, my man, there you go. Now, is this genuine hot slow or is this reheated cold slow? It's obviously reheated cold slow, come on. Perfect. You in the corner, don't be shy. Slow it up, I see. <laughs> oh, there's a million pounds up to go around. There you are, so. Mega star! And in the end, we learned there was heroes on both sides. And villains. Here's to another amazing adventure. <laughs>